Well, this is hard going. It's all kind of boggy, boggier stuff up that I'm pushing up the road. But I am finding more, more of these uh, long, interrupted sort of slab sections. They will be obviously not a continuous one, but I'm hoping to sort of link them up some way. But what a glorious day! I'll get a full panorama once I, once I get up. But this is much much harder than than, than I anticipated. So it was much harder than it is when you're sitting on a on your computer looking at. Ordnance survey maps and uh, kind of satellite imagery and trying to find out what it is you can be dealing with, but you never can get the resolution to know exactly. Sometimes it may be just a, a unrideable boulder field, but then there's the hope that I'll get something like this uh, to how to connect them. But the other thing I'm up against here is you don't realize how big these mountains are. The ridge over there, I've kind of a few false summits. I've done the Yosaval before off the other side. In another video and this caught my eye as I was looking back and it looked fairly promising but it's pathless and uh, sometimes you don't have a clue if you go in the in the right direction because there is no path so I'm just kind of picking up little sheep trails and slabs and I hope that I'll find a decent rideable route on the way back down but nothing ventured nothing gained so <laughs> right Ditch the bike. And it ain't gonna go much further than this. Because that is a long way down. I work my way around. That's a better view for oh, pulling you down there. Well, this is the descent to uh Glinia. But a steep, really, really steep gorge on Glen on that side. Hopefully, oh. yes. Right, that's the end of Loch Glinia. There's Crabadale Beach. I've been swimming there last year. Another wee one beside it. And an even more stunning beach is around the corner. You can only see the snippet of the top of it. Try viewing it. So. We're right up on the side here. There's Loch down there. It's done. Oh, and yeah, I was scared. Thank you, my breath, but it's such a steep push up there. Anyway, it's always so relieving. I mean, bits you can ride and bits you can't, but when you see this, you see the cairn. Uh, even if you pushed up all the way. I finished off on the bike. Oh. Found my supper tonight. Um, so yeah, nice. this is uh, Hushabel Moor. And the reason why I'm here is it's one of these things I love looking at um, topography and satellite images, GPS stuff and all that, all the kind of good stuff that you now got modern technology. And you can look at things and start planning routes that may or may not be rideable. And this is a total gamble because there is going to be lots of maybe boulder fields and bogs, but there is uh, rideable slabs and it's to connect them all. It's one of these things I just had in my head I wanted to do. And turn around there, you see Yosaval and Look that's the descent, which is down there. Steep gorge down that one. And one of my favourite descents, which is the Strong Uladell Stalker's Path. Both the out and back. It's one of the best out and backs that I've ever done. And just to give you a little idea, it's a beautiful day, great visibility. So we'll have we check it out. That'll be heading down towards Tarbert. Um, further from the Urga would be the kind of postman's walk and a belter um, and then we're sort of looking down towards uh, kind of south of Harris to the famous beaches of Luskintyre and Scarista and Nisha Boston all these places uh, and the Terrancy there and in the background you'll be looking towards um, if you go behind uh, Terrancy you're heading down towards kind of north east in that direction and if I kind of put over that way it is very clear today, but I'm hard to make it out. But you'd be looking towards um, the sky, so the Isle of Sky is over there somewhere. And uh, across this way, well, nothing to, to get the Atlantic. Um, so yeah, another three and a half thousand miles, wherever it is, for there. And down towards here, you've got the beautiful beach. Uh, well, Hushnish, oh, a fair other beaches, but the one along from it, Trivelin, is an absolute stunner. 
heading round in Moor. I know you're looking towards the the joining of where um, kind of Lewis and Harris boundary. So you're heading towards Boog over there, Loch Resort, which kind of separates the two. And I can see up the distance there uh, in that kind of valley. You can see there that I think that may be the that may be the track that leads to Loch Langavad. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, just never seen from this high up in this angle. And then looking towards, uh, back towards uh, Lewis, um, kind of west coast and uh, way back up there. So that's just a kind of wee idea. And Ulladal, Strong of Ulladal, and you get the bigger ones there in the Clisham, um, which is the, the tallest mountain on the, uh, uh, in the Western Isles. So let's get my food and let's get it. Right, gravity do its thing. And let's just hope I can find some semblance of a, a descent on the way down. Right, now, I don't want to go that side. Just sort of keep going until I start getting to the slabs. The slabs should be... I can see them in the distance there. Yeah, well, it's good fun just heading down. Just heading down the mountain anyway. Aha, this can be the start of it. Right, the key is, we're looking really far ahead. And trying to decide what's possible and what's not. Making good progress. Just been picking away. This that's more like the kind of boggier boulder field stuff in the bogs. And now it looks like we're getting into the real chunky slabby stuff. <clears throat> so yeah. Trials riders would even <clears throat> would love this even better. So many options. Oh. So you have to traverse a wee bit just to kind of pick up. Man, so much harder to see on the way down. When you look back, this is when you'd be good to sort of mark in bits of chalk, bright chalk that'll wash away and you create a crack in the section. But you get a bits where it just turns, it actually stops, where you think it stops. It's almost like a dead drop and then uh, your eyes, you can maybe roll it and yeah, jigsaw. Pick it up again. What a day! 
I don't know how much I missed you know the bike you see what I mean <laughs> five foot slab drop no where to go where to go there we go this way to the right it's looking pretty decent as well but I can just see more potential here I mean as grippy as it is it's easy to let your speed just get carried away and I don't fancy an OTB around here oh, I'm going to be slightly off slightly off track uh, I don't matter, keep going we're still pointing down the way Now this is way chunkier Can't see Oh, just I'm really paranoid of these wet bits now I can read black that's better I see where I'm going now you really got to be thinking quickly picking a line because This is nowhere where I came up, but I'll keep it going. Right, I've gone slightly, well, the whole thing's off piste, but slightly off track to where I thought I was. But that doesn't matter. It's, uh, there's no right way to do this oh. don't think so anyway so this is still going down I know judging by the amount of times I've been looking at these things online uh, there should be a, a little river somewhere and that will indicate the end of the slabs I can see it I can see the river I can see a little bit of the bottom of the, the hill now that I can get there oh, there's another thing well that's the main descent taken care of Some bits here you'd swear that should be designed for mountain biking. <sighs> yeah, I'm on the right. I'm on the right track. Some bits are so steep. Oh. Oh. Main panic is about going on a slab with mud in your tire. Well, and that was. Oh, I was about to say, just finish off with that. I was stalled in the OEOTB. So, oh, I'm chuffed with that. 
cracking day out. Uh, I now know more about it and know probably a better way to do it. I'll bring some chalk next time. Okay, well that worked out. Um, better than I thought. Uh, simple plan. Take a bike to the top of a mountain without any path and ride down it any way you want. And uh, I linked all the slabs that I could and created a nice descent with uh, calling some trial skills and everything else, but great to be back in the bike. And hopefully you enjoyed that, short and sweet, but uh, definitely worth it. And here's the next one. Thanks again, watch guys. See ya, bye.